So, uh, first things first, I'm not really a box opening channel of any sort. I've got my uh, camera, and you can't really see it, but it's sort of uh, here, there. I know what this is. Yeah, let's just open it. So, like I said, I haven't looked in here yet. Pretty bloody excited to. And it's uh, another box within a box. Oh, sweet. Got an iron side hat. Yeah, boy. I asked him for a jumper. So I got a sweet jumper there as well. I'll put that one at the end. Some sort of box here. Okay, this looks semi-important. So we've got, this looks like the processor housing. And like, I, I'll be honest, I'll say it now. I don't know a lot about computers. I could probably build one if you gave me all the components, but that would include some YouTube guides and whatnot. Like that, I have literally no idea what that is. Um, like some of you might be looking at it and you might be like, oh, that's, oh wait, no, it's an SLI. So this is if I've got two uh, Nvidia graphics cards. So if I get a, I don't wanna tell you what graphics card it is yet, but if I've got two of the same, I can use this and it's uh, SLI. So it allows you to basically combine the two not quite with the efficiency of both at the same time fully. These are just some extra back panels. I, I don't know any of the correct terminology. Okay, sweet. We've got a nice little gaming mat. It does look nice. The texture's pretty good. Explanation on how to turn on a computer. Probably not going to need that. Unboxing instructions. Probably not going to do that either because we do what we want. Now, there we go. All the way from across the pond. As you guys know, Ironside is an American company. Not English. Not that that's a problem. Uh, these look like, uh, I think I'm assuming these are all like the spares and whatnot if I need them for the computer. This looks like a hard drive housing. Uh, I might be wrong. I think I'm right though. I do like, they've obviously thought about it. They've made this, this size and shape for a reason. So it does fit inside this housing like securely. So it doesn't fall out. And then this side says, please open from the other side. So what I'm gonna do is do this and this and this. Make sure this cardboard stays down. Lift it up like so. Perfect. Now, in theory, if I just that put that box on my bed as well okay that's one side off both sides off okay now we've got to take oh wait there's just an opening oh my god this thing's huge this is way bigger than i thought it would be this is bigger than my current pc which is is massive like my current tower is huge and now we should be able to just lift this off okay well this is my new computer from Ironside. Give you guys a good look at that. Don't worry about all the mess around me. Uh, normally what they do is they package these things with bits and bobs, kind of like electrical tape and whatnot. So we're gonna have to take all of that out. There's normally uh, anti-friction bubble wrap inside or something similar to that. So let's have a look inside. Oh, there's the Max Mears logo, boys. <laughs> How does this open? I've... This looks like it comes off. There's hinges at the back here. I, I, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to yank it in case I'm wrong. I feel like these doors open out like this. That was easy. This just came straight off. So now I've just got to take out one, two, three, four screws. I'm going to get a screwdriver. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Right. Now the side panel should come off, but we're gonna have to remove both because there's some sort of like anti-friction tape on the other side as well. And four. Right. So in what I can only I'll tell you what, let's do let's do this side first. Because once we've done this side, easy peasy. Oh that is so easy. That is that comes off so easy. I'm so glad I wasn't trying to force it at all. Right. So we've got to take off this. Oh. And there's my two SSDs. So I've got a 250 gigabyte SSD, which I think is this one. This is the primary. 
So this is a 250 gig SSD, which has got my uh, OS on, so that's just, you know, Windows. And then I've got a one terabyte for all my games. So two SSDs. There's one other thing that I've bought, which is this. I bought myself a four terabyte Western Digital Black hard drive. Uh, I'm going to put this in. I didn't want to ask them for it because I thought I'm kind of taking the mickey with how much I did ask for already. I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. I'm not going to lie though, this thing is very heavy. I don't know if it's the case or what, but this thing is, it seems expensively heavy though. <laughs> All right, now this side. Oh. All right, we've got an RTX 2080. We've got this smooth, silky ass white wiring. Very, very sexy. 700 watt power bank at the bottom there, as you can see. That's, you know, the power bank's not massively important. It's a decent quality one, so not going to have any power issues with the computer. We've got a, I think it's a H100i Corsair water cooling for the CPU. And this is the best bit. The processor is, I'm not actually sure. So I'm meant to have an i7-9800X, but they may have put in the i9-920X. I think that's right. We'll find out once we boot this thing up, though. So we've not got 8, we've not got 16. We've not got 24, we've not got 32, we've got double 32, which is 64. We've got 64 gig of RAM in this thing. I'm overcompensating, right? Uh, we've also got a bunch of nice white fans. You can't see these ones up here. There's two up here. Uh, we've got this one on the side there. And we've got two at the front here. Uh, you can kind of see those two. Um, the box itself looks very nice. There's actually an Elgato capture card down there as well. So I'm going to be able to record without really stressing out the graphics card and I'm going to be rendering on my current computer <laughs> it's so bright I'm going to be rendering videos on my current computer but I, you know I'm not doing that until I move out because I just don't have the space in here to have two computers running I'm moving out by the way guys I'm moving out in probably August time and that is thanks to you guys and this is thanks to you guys as well I wouldn't have this I wouldn't have anything I wouldn't have my car I wouldn't have a YouTube channel if it wasn't for all of you subscribing and watching my videos. So I've just got to give you guys a huge thank you, quickly. All right, now that's over. Let's have a look at how I'm going to put this hard drive in. <laughs> this might be a bit weird, because you saw me a second ago there. The PC is right there. So I had to nip to the shop. I had to buy a uh, SATA cable and I had to buy... Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Be right back. Right, so yeah, I went to the shop, I picked up some SATA cables, uh, basically just to put the new hard drive into the computer, and now it's plugged in, and I'm looking at it, and it looks amazing. I'm going to pop over to Future Max, because according to my notes, right here, now I'm going to do some benchmarking tests, and show you guys some stuff in Rust, so... Hope you enjoy that. Thank you very much for that, Max. I'll uh, take it from here. What you're watching right now is a program you can get on Steam. It's called 3D Mark. This is just a benchmarking software. And what we do is we use the information that this benchmarking software gives us. And it basically tells us how good the computer is. So I decided to render this video in 1440p because that's the monitor that I'm playing on. So obviously, the higher the resolution, the lower the frames will be when you're actually in game. So I bought a 1440p monitor because I know that 2080 RTX is more than capable of running high quality on every thing on a 1080 monitor but I want to play at a high definition and honestly I bought this 144 hertz monitor and it's just it's a new world of gaming it's opened my eyes it just looks so much better but it is yeah I went from playing on a 22 inch 1080p monitor to a 28 inch 1440p monitor and it's just a world of difference now I could not have done that if Ironside hadn't sponsored me of course so a huge huge thank you to them for building this amazing PC I've got to say as a company everything was very very transparent it was very easy to talk to them I spoke to a gentleman called Nicholas when I was emailing them. He was really polite, it was really to the point. Any questions I had, I was always answered within 24 hours. Especially for me, as business related, it is very convenient when people actually just get back to you when you want to, instead of having to wait a couple of days or, you know, sometimes a week. So I've had the computer for about four days now, so I haven't just got it out of the box, played on it for an hour, and then decided that, you know, it's a great computer. I have tested it out for a couple of days now. I've 
rendered with it, I've gamed on it, and I've benchmarked it now as well, so I do have a pretty good idea on my thoughts of the PC. I'll just start by saying it runs very, very quickly. It's been really, really well optimised, it is absolutely silent. Between the water cooling and the fans, I'm pretty sure the water cooling is actually louder than the fans. And the fans are just default fans that you get from their website. The RGB on the computer looks absolutely amazing. I can literally customise it however I want and it, it just it looks sick. 64 gig of RAM may seem like a lot, but it does help out while rendering. I can allocate more RAM to Sony Vegas. And initially, I didn't think I'd need that much, but now that I do have it and I can allocate so much RAM to rendering and to editing, I am happy that I've got it. And of course, that huge amount of RAM will also be adding to my 3D Mark score, giving the computer a higher amount of points. And at the end, you guys will see how many points we get. And you can use that as a pretty much a basis as well. I mean, use 3D Mark on your computers down below and tell me what you think. Tell me what score you get as well. Make sure you download the demo because that's free. <laughs> but back to the PC. I know a lot of you guys just want to know about my Rust settings. Yes, it can run everything on maximum. Of course it can. I like playing with a few things turned off. Like, for example, I like to have my Gibbs turned off. I turn Lensdale off because that just looks disgusting. And I turn everything else right down. But I like to keep all my graphic settings quite high. I think you'd probably say it's on medium to high, but when you're on over 100 FPS on a 2K monitor, you can't really complain. So I ran 3D Mark twice. I ran it once with Shadowplay recording in the background, and that was the only other thing I had open. And I ran it again without Shadowplay recording in the background, and I actually got a slightly higher score when Shadowplay was turned off. That may seem very, very obvious, which is why I did run it while recording it and once while not recording it. And the highest score that I got was 10,102. That was while Shadowplay was off. And on the point breakdown, it said that it was better than 92% of the results. And as you can see, I've got my i9 9820X and my RTX 2080. So also on the point breakdown, I've got a GPU score and a CPU score separately. I don't know what gave me the overall 10,102, but the GPU score is 10,125 and the CPU score is 9,974. In case anyone was interested in that. So there's only really two things left that I want to talk about in terms of the computer and that is how it runs in general which is very very quick and that's what you'd expect from a high brand computer company like Ironside. I asked them to put my operating system on the 250 gig SSD and I've also got a completely empty well not anymore completely empty but I got an SSD which was a terabyte and that is for my games and all of my footage etc is going on my four terabyte hard drive. So I've split everything up just like that and it does just work absolutely perfectly well. The fact that my games are on an SSD means they're running faster and because they're not on the same SSD as the OS, the computer isn't going to be any slower. Now in terms of the YouTube standpoint, so the editing and rendering, I'm sure a lot of you are interested or have made your own videos in the past or maybe want to in the future. My old computer, I couldn't really preview very well while I was editing. So while you're editing a video, you've got a preview screen so you can see what you're actually editing, what you're actually creating. Now on my old computer, I think this is something to do with the RAM, but I didn't actually have a preview screen. I got three FPS on it and no matter what I did, no matter how much RAM I allocated, how much I messed around with it, the computer just couldn't handle editing anymore. Now this poor thing has been through three years of absolute battering, constantly recording everything, rendering. I used to leave it on overnight to render videos because it would just take so long. Not with this new PC, it took 14 minutes to render a 14 minute video. I've actually messed around with the bitrate and stuff to make it a bit higher so the videos are higher quality and hopefully that shows in this video and in subsequent ones. But that is all I really wanted to show you guys in terms of the PC. I got it from Ironside and if you are interested in getting a computer like this, you can get a 5% discount with a code that is in the description of all of my videos as of now. So check that out down below. Also, both in the description and the comment section, I've got a list of the specs on this computer. So if you want to have a look at what I've got and maybe use that as a basis for what you want, by all means, help yourself. I would like to add as well this case and just the computer, the amount of glass and stuff on it, the fact that my logo's on it. Ironside really went the extra mile and it's just the neatest computer I've seen. There's no wires anywhere. It looks fantastic. I've got no worries about this PC whatsoever. I know that the build quality is high enough that I just don't have to worry about any problems. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, I've been working on a video. It's meant to be an hour long. That should be out tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and as always, have fun guys. Sunlight.